Okay, so we have a glowing line to follow where we left off. We just got through fighting a dragon and meeting some of the head honchos here for, I believe, the Adventurer's Guild. Uh, and I hadn't gotten into this game for a couple of days. I, I don't know what's going on. I just don't seem to have the time to do the recording at night sometimes. Anyway, we're going to jump in here and hope I can resume my thread. Tinkerbell left some of her magic fairy dust for me. I suppose after this part, we'll go into the other. I know in the intro I said we'd be doing exploration, but it appears as if we're going to be doing progression, because I didn't know I had this path to follow. I will let you know when we are going to be into... This seems to be the Knights of Favonius headquarters. Let's head in. Alright, we're getting into a building. Okay, here we got Paymon and Enter the Knights. Now, how do you select... Oh, scroll wheel. So, scroll wheel to select the thing you wish to do. That's been a bit of a pain. Ah, we don't actually open the door. It's actually just a loading thing. So my guess is the other buildings will not be in trouble either. It'll either be a loading screen or something. My other thing I use to judge video games is whether you can see outside Team, when you're in an inside hurry? building. Be curious to I see about that. I thought we agreed to meet them here. There have been sightings of storm terror outside the city. Once we meet, we must... Relax. I'll lend a hand when the time comes. Gene, I brought them. And once it was over, I brought them straight here. Well, thank you very kindly, sir. Monstat welcomes you, Windborn Travelers. Monstat welcomes I'm you. Jean. Grandmaster of the Knights of Favonius. This is Lisa, our resident librarian. <laughs> oh, are you sweeties here to help us out? Pardon me for saying this, especially if you're a librarian, but that is one very hot looking librarian, I'll tell you what. <laughs> you're both so adorable. Sadly, the timing is regrettable. Storm terror has caused quite a ruckus in the region since its recent resurgence. Simply put, Mondstadt's elemental sphere and ley lines are now akin to a yarn ball in the paws of a kitten. For a mage, it couldn't get much worse. My skin is one elemental particle away from a full-blown breakout. Oh, heaven help us, we don't want to zit on that if flawless skin. If it weren't for this skin. interference, the Knights of Favonius would have better ways to help you than just putting up missing person posters. We simply ask that you oppose in Mondstadt while we help you seek out your sister. Hmm, okay, so now, is this the person we're with or is this somebody else? Oh, I see, I can pick with the mouse here, so I really should help out as well. <laughs> hmm, am I feeling particularly selfish and lazy? I'm gonna go ahead and help out. I mean, they kind of want you to, you know they do. Good. In that case, we need a plan. With Storm Terror now directly attacking Mondstadt, we may have an opportunity to cut this problem off at the source. Lisa has revealed the sources of Storm Terror's power with her detection magic. Is that so? They're located in the abandoned Four Winds Temples. Storm Terror. Guess where I'm going. To these kinds of storms can be attributed to our objective is to deal with three of the four temples. I trust everyone understands why we are only dealing with three. Paimon does it. Knights of Favonius, time is against us. The storm is rampant. There is no point in maintaining a defensive position. All right, we need to take initiative and act before the situation escalates. Okay, what have I unlocked? I have unlocked the shop. So we will take a look there shortly. I've also unlocked wishes. Ah, and we have some. So we can do some wishes or see if they're summoning. 
Here I can select who I want to talk to, and I've got some stuff here, it looks like. We will talk to Amber. Want to team up with me? Huh. I should warn you, though. I don't slow down for anyone, Greenhorn or otherwise. Ah, uh, I haven't decided who I want. You didn't tell me I was going to be teaming up. So if you end up in this part, understand that who you talk to is apparently who you want to team up with. I thought I'd go with a hot librarian, but I guess that's not going to... Well, let me see. Can I go to goodbye without offending anybody? Let's all do our best to defeat... So did that make it so that I can't have her on my team? Oh, okay. I misunderstood. Apparently I was not selecting a team yet made it very confusing. Note to the developers of Genshin Impact, make that a little more clear. Make sure that the team selection screen is different if it's not already. The monsters out in the wild? We've got many resources here in the library. Making good use of elemental advantages is the key to winning any battle. By the way, would you be interested in having a part-time job here? <laughs> We need people to oh, we need people for doing we just need more people. <laughs> okay. And Kaya. Jean is the leader. Apparently I'm not talking to her. You're not yet. bad with that wind glider. Your gliding style seems familiar. Hmm. My eye patch. Wanna hear my story, eh? I didn't have time to introduce myself properly. Well, it wasn't on my mind to begin with. <laughs> my apologies. I'm Kaya, cavalry captain for the Knights of Favonius. We can talk more after we get things sorted. I know a great place more fit for a chat. Hmm. Do I have a rival? There's Jean again, and if I go to Kaya again... You're not bad with that wind glider. The Grand Master is currently off leading an expedition. So the master, Jean, has stepped in to oversee the knights while he's gone. Hence, you'll hear many reports. Sorry, to females. It looks like master. this is a uh, male uh, operated or guided operation here. When the Grand Master left, he took the vast majority of our knights with him, leaving the acting Grand Master with far more responsibility and stress. Come to think of it, it must have been difficult for Jean. Okay. Uh, sees. <sighs> a way to fight against storm? I'm sorry. But there's no way to do it alone. Mm, that was good. Judging okay. by the level of its animal power, it's definitely not an ordinary creature. Okay, I that's could teach important. you some elemental basics, so you'll have an idea of what I'm talking about. I'll take it. Hooray. Alright. Let's see. There we go. Let's talk to Jean. I think we got everybody covered. It's change in size and power, really. But for the Knights of Favonius, our priority is to deal with the aftermath of this attack. The Grandmaster entrusted the there. Knights of Favonius to me. I can't let him or the people of Mon step down. I must get to the bottom of this. I heard you and Outrider Amber had a misunderstanding. Please forgive her. She talk to Amber sometime. Sorry. I'm sure you'll like how Maybe energetic she always is. Okay, I believe I have now talked to everybody. Uh, that's Amber. Who's this in front of me? That's Lisa, that's Kaya. Oh, that must be Jean. Okay. And then there's Amber, who we started with. Okay. Wanna team up with me? Huh. Well, I should warn you, though. I don't slow oh, down Oh, I see. Anyone. So I can pick between her or otherwise. Jean. Jean is so... I'm gonna stick with, uh... I might lose out on having Jean on my team, but I'm gonna As see a novice up. within the Knights of Favonius, your understand... Leave the advanced wind glider training to me. Hmm. Okay, so now if I pick that again... Wanna team up with me? 
With Jean by our side, nothing can stand in our way. At least, that's what I want to say. But I can't keep spouting that same old line. She always dashes headlong into uh -oh. the heat of the battle. And we want her to take better care of herself. I really hope that one day, I can look Jean in the eye and tell her she doesn't need to worry anymore. Because we have her back. Go, okay. guy. And I am told there is something over here. Uh, how do I find... Okay. I saw two books. There we go. Uh, let's do this one first. And then that one. We need to look and see where the text to these books might be located. Here we go. And... So be sure to get these books here by this bookcase. Make sure you got all the knowledge here. Oh, here we go. Oh, I can sit. Oh, more. One of the things that people have wanted in video games and RPGs especially for a long time, oddly as it may seem, is the ability to sit. I find it intriguing that they have given us that ability. Or let's see how it looks. Works for me. You can just use the arrow to get out. Okay. I'll take it. It's cool. That's something people have wanted in a game for a long time. So now the question is, am I supposed to do something else here, or do I just go? And I've got a glowing icon down here, too, that's telling me something. It says, comma. With the wind. Ah, we have, we have updated? What? Oh, I see. So it was telling me that that spell was ready to cast. Okay. I thought that meant level up. And then the other one must be my other attack. Yeah, we don't want to be attacking my friends. That's not going to help me any. I'm glad I didn't get punished for that. Okay, what do we got going on here? Let's read some notices real quick. We'll go through all of this right now. We've got an inaugural character album and a preview an update summary so you're going to want to read that and a couple more of those i'm going to read those later we've got some events that have changed we've got a lantern right i'm just going to go to where we find out who can do it rank 20 new wish available character event wish some kind of an event wish update. I know nothing about wishes. I haven't even done. There is actual tutorials in here, and I should make sure I show that to you if I haven't already. Uh, here's a weapon of wish. I'm assuming that there's going to be uh, adventures bundle. There's going to be limitations. Rank 20. My goodness. Ring five. I should be eligible for this. I have to log in seven days. But I still haven't figured out, is there a button you press to log in, or do you just... And there's no progress, so I have no idea of knowing if I've logged in. So I don't know how that works. But that's uh, going on, so don't forget that one. Rank two. So we have this access as well. Log into the game to receive Fragile Resin, Intertwined Fate, and other rewards. Well, we have logged into the game, so we should automatically receive these items, correct? So, oh, it's logged in on this particular date. Okay, never mind. So, I have to wait for that date. So, we won't have a way to test it there yet. Okay. Here's our shop. 
So here's where you can purchase some things. Uh, we get this blessing here for $4.99. I have not browsed around the shop too much. So, so we've, got, we've got a gift shop. Half off for this. For gems, we have no gems. Probably have to buy gems somewhere. These are 10% off, so it says. Uh, these require some other things. Stardust, Star Glitter, and Primo Gems. We have 86 Primal Gems, but it doesn't seem to be getting me anything. We have zero of the Stardust or Star Glitter. Okay, so they're called Genesis Crystals to purchase these gifts. Yes, Genesis Crystals. And this is where you find information on how much they cost. So it is, as I suspected, you'll be paying for these packs of crystals, and that will allow you to do stuff. This actually doesn't bother me yet because it's very similar to what Creativeverse does. Creativeverse is a free-to-play game, and you'll see videos on this channel for it. And it does the same kind of thing. It's coins in Creativeverse's case. You can buy a pack of coins, and that lets you get little extra things, but you don't strictly need it. The difference that we'll be able to tell is if we actually need any of this. If we are going to suffer in our progress and enjoyment of the game because we don't have the crystals to get something that we need or that will make the progress a little nicer or more enjoyable, if it makes it harder to play the game or harder to enjoy the game if you do not purchase things, then it's different than Creativeverse because that means that you really can't uh, you're kind of being forced to buy these things, even though it's just an option there and you have to click on it. It's not really being forced, it's kind of being forced, because if you don't buy it, then you don't get that advantage. Um, unlike Creativeverse, where if you don't buy it, you can still enjoy the game and you're not suffering anything. They don't have anything locked behind any sort of a paywall, to my memory. Um, I mean, all, all you're really doing in Creativeverse is getting yourself some cool-looking weapons that are unique and some accessories for your character and things like that, and that's the model they use to support the game. It doesn't affect your progress in the game, per se. Although, getting pro, uh, which I recommend you do if you play Creativeverse, that does kind of... If you don't get pro, that will affect your progress, because pro gives you a flashlight on your glider and some other, your, your first glider, your basic glider. So keep that in mind. But uh, outside of that, though, you don't have to buy coin packs or do anything else. I mean, if you just get creative or you download it and you just buy Pro and that's the only thing you ever buy, you're going to be fine. You won't have anything you're going to miss out on compared to somebody who pays lots of money for the game. So and apparently people are paying a lot of money for stuff in this game. So there's very little worry that the developers are going to run out of funds or... Uh, enthusiasm for doing things. I guess they're getting paid well. Let's take a look at our achievements. Okay, so when you go into your achievements screen, you can click over here and you can claim some of these. I don't know if I demonstrated this on camera before, but here we got some Primo Gems we can claim. So I'm going to do that, and we got to wait a second for it to load. Five Primo Gems. And I don't know what the five star ranking means. Or if that's even a ranking. I don't know. Reminds me of a Raid where they have rankings. I don't know. Let's see. Achievement. Complete the following. Okay, we don't have any of this. We've got a marksmanship. So we can claim five here. Got a challenge. Still looking for a login screen. Okay, so the rest of this, uh, nothing we need to worry about here. Let's see, Mondstadt, Travelers, so nothing here. I see 0% on all of this. Marksmanship we just clicked on. Okay, and these are the same thing that we were just scrolling through. Okay, so we've completed four achievements according to this. Okay, we've got some mail. We've got a player preferences. Fill it out, and then you get 50 primogens. So I suggest you do this. Uh, I think I'm going to do it here after we get done today. I claimed that, and I claimed that. And I can claim, I guess, this for reading it. Mora? I have absolutely no idea what Mora is. 
I know I want more of it. I know that was bad. Archive will probably be where our books are located. Ah. And we have some other weaponry and stuff in here too. So we can learn about it. But what about, does that take us to the books? Oh, I see. Okay, so be sure to go into the archive if you're curious to get more into the lore of the world and there the books you've been picking up and collecting will be located. You actually don't pick up the book, you kind of pick up like a co it's like you copy it instantaneously or something, I don't know how to explain it, but uh, yeah, that's where that's going to be. We've got the character archive, we've got the map and the quests. And what quests are we on? Meet Amber at the temple. To stop Storm Terror's, blah, Storm Terror's Siege, you must venture out and eliminate the ascent, elemental... Blah, man, I can't talk. Okay, so this says to stop Storm Terror's Siege, you must venture out and eliminate the elemental flows left within the ruined temples of the Four Winds. Amber's waiting for you at the Temple of the Falcon. And if I click on navigate, that's going to tell me where I want to go. Okay. Nice. So let's see. Does this. This is leaving the headquarters. Open the door. I like that. Okay, so the rooms aren't totally hidden away. Nice. What's this? End and a viewpoint. Seventh edition. <laughs> Gotta love the library. I don't know how I'm supposed to return these books that I've been collecting. I do love the library, though. In real life, too, by the way. I miss being able to go to the library. I mean, we can still pick up holes, curbside service, and stuff like that, but... I wonder how much we can actually climb, like literally climb the walls in here. We can't. So the climbing is reserved for outside. I would have liked them to have kept the climbing element everywhere, but it does kind of separate it and make it special that you can only climb when you're outside. Because you wouldn't expect in real life, although a game should not be like real life necessarily in the negative aspects, but you wouldn't expect in real life that you'd be able to climb anywhere. And they do give us ladders. I'm going to read all this stuff later, but I'm assuming that this knowledge, once I've read it, will help me in some way or another. We'll spend a brief moment looking at one of these books on camera, because I remember reading like the books in Morrowind. I always kind of enjoyed that. I'd you know, be curious to see if they do more of a humor or if they're more serious or how they handle it here in this. I'm curious to know. We have a kid here. It's Elon Musk. I mean, Elon Musk. <laughs> Scholar of linguistics.
Okay, hilly trails. Ballads. Oh man, sorry. I haven't sat in this chair for... Gotta get my rear end back into shape for sitting. I am a professional sit person. Professional at sitting. If sitting was a sport, I'd be a, I'd be a professional athlete. I do not understand why every volume of Hex and Hound is scattered all over the library. Somebody needs to teach these days the Dewey Decimal System. see outside what a little bit I can tell here if you guys noticed any sparkles that I missed let me know I call that a good rush job there all right what do we got over here can't go through that door That's uh, where we came from. That must be another door into the library. Let's wear us out and go up some stairs. Oh! How interesting. Invisible walls. Very bad. I can understand why you guys went that way, but not good. Don't put invisible walls in your games. I know that it's probably temporary and you didn't really have a choice, but invisible walls, not good. We don't like invisible walls in video games. Invisible walls have been the bane, uh, the bane of video games for ever. From now on, the adventures will probably get more and more dangerous. We should make sure we're prepared. We could start by going to Mondstadt's blacksmith. Okay. Show sure. Alright, and we've got some sparkles. We've got to figure out where they are and follow them. Maybe we have to... There's something going on with this chair down here. Oh, is this a mushroom? Pango. Okay, let's uh, do, I think it said it was F3. Alright. We've got something here called a beginner's wish. 10 set, 20% off. I've got a wish 1 here and a wish 10 here and I don't know what any of this means. Does this mean I don't actually have that? I have to pay for it? Or does it mean I have it? Apparently I had it, whatever that is. So let's see what we get. A bloodstained greatsword. Masterclass Stardust 15. Three star. And a magic guide. And another bloodstained greatsword. So it all happens at once. You can't save them. Okay. Okay. 
So apparently when you do a wish, it does it all at once. And we've got a character by the name of Noelle, and why she looks familiar? I don't know. I'm sure I've seen this character somewhere before. It's not clicking. Four-star character. That seems to be pretty decent. Bow. Yeah, we definitely need a bow. Skyrider sword. Cool. Level 1 of 20. Using an elemental burst grants a 12% increase in attack and movement speed for 15 seconds. Once tried to ride his flying sword. Okay. Okay. And we got these master class stardust, whatever that means. Now if I go over here, does this mean, what is this now? It says I've got this, okay, I don't have anything here, and I don't have anything here. It says I have three, so I must do it in sets of, did I click on ten or did I click on one? Okay. So this must have been sets of, and then this is singles. So we can either spend these three or wait. Let's spend them. Might as well use them all up and see what we get. Might give me a bit of an edge. Another Skyrider sword. Next question is, can I sell any of this stuff? And get a little money out of it. I'm hoping for a four or five star sword. That'd be nice. I love the animation to it. Well, there you go. I don't know if I can actually use this sword, but I love the looks of it. Lion's Roar. Nice. I guess time will tell on um, what I can actually equip or not. Thrilling Tales of Dragon Slayers. That sounds riveting. I want to download that and read it. Okay, now let's go ahead and equip my character. Anyway, let's go into, I think it's character, where we can put stuff on. So here we have a silver sword. Let's switch it out for... Let's jump on the right. Okay, line drawer is locked. I cannot use it yet. So I got my choice between either of these Skyrider swords or these two. And I don't know which one's better. When HP is above 90% increases crit rate. Let's do that. Okay, so now we've changed my sword. Let's check our artifacts. Looks like we have now gotten the last two pieces of this set. I'm assuming that's what that means. Traveling Doctor. No, it looks like we have two different sets. So the Adventurer's set is four piece. So we're missing one piece because we've got three. And then this is the... No, this is Adventure sets. This is the Pocket Watch. Okay. Okay. And then Profile. I don't know why this is here. Oh, voiceover, something changed? Oh, okay. Monster has so many windmills, doesn't it? Well, the city is built above water, so it... So, if you want to listen to these voiceovers, they're here and they're all selected and new, so that's what that red dot means. I just want you to look at that and acknowledge that. Okay, so a quick update. It's your jump button, whatever that is, which I have said to insert. It, I think by default it's X. And then you press it again to glide. It's pretty simplistic, I guess. Yeah, I think it's a press and hold. No, okay. You just press it once and it's fine. 
Let's see if any of these doors are open, and we'll call that the end of this episode. Just kind of curious to know. No. Good Hunter's Daily Recommendation. This person's cowering. No. There's the blacksmith. What am I supposed to do at the blacksmith exactly? Hard work is all there is to the craft. <sighs> Why? She's a tiny one, isn't she? They need to be purpose built. Wow, he does bespoke weapons. Of course. I sell weapons, make them to order, and do refinements. All in the job description for a blacksmith. All you need is the ore. Anywhere, everywhere. <sighs> you look confused. Listen, I'll tell you where the nearest deposits are. Bring some we already back, have some. Forge what you need. No need. I have other things to do. Now we already have some. So let's see if we can What do you want? Oh, yes. I'd forgotten about that. These are okay, I guess. Should be able to salvage something from them. Let's see, what do we got here? Oh my goodness, I don't understand what I'm even looking at. Who oh boy. Let's see, we got the materials here. Eight of two needed. I don't know what's needed here. And then we have these enhancement ores. Forge cues, amount one. And uh, I want this, I guess it's supposed to be for him. How uh, do I just press start and see what I end up with? What's forging? Forged, one, completed. Weapon X material gives 400 X experience. But that isn't what we came here for. We came here to get a weapon for Paimon. That isn't helping me. So this tells you who it's for, I assume? No, it doesn't even tell me who it's for, so I don't even know what to get my uh, character, but I don't have any of the stuff for any of this anyway. Alright, we'll do a separate video going over this. I have to do some studying and figure it all out. I don't even know why you would want to do anything with these enchantment ores. Or what you'd even do with them. And it says there's one ready, but what do I do with it now? So, as far as getting Paimon a weapon, I have absolutely no idea. I don't even know what I just got or what to even do with it. So, more details on that later. If you ever later. find ore in the future, you can always come and see me. Ideally, when I'm not busy. A blacksmith's work takes focus and concentration. When the craft is good, business is good. It's all there is to this trade. And anyone who tells you different is trying to con you. And if there's nothing else, I'll carry on with my work. This guy is kind of hard, man. Committed to his work, Paimon will give him that. 
I'll get Max. Okay, so now I've got to meet Amber at the temple. It's telling me that it's straight down the path. We'll uh, head out and then we will stop the video and resume from there. Um, I don't know when I'll do my explore video. I think I'll just stick with progression for right now. So we'll skip the explore for temporary because I don't know what it will take to clear up the city so that I can thoroughly explore it. I want to make sure everything's unlocked. There's something sparkling in this there bush. Good old friendly mint. So it looks like you have to be at a height to be able to get use of that, okay. Straight ahead. Ah, would it happen to be this giant ominous glowing building? Funny how she can be in two places at once, huh? This is it. One of the deserted temples of the Four Winds. These temples have been left to waste for years now. The people of Mondstadt almost never come here. There's a chance there's a monster nest or hillatrol camp inside. <sighs> Even Storm Terror has given up on its own temple. Yes. I also find it hard to accept, but Storm Terror was once one of the four winds. Huh? Wait. Did you just feel that? The wind here. Something's off. Let's go in and take a look. Be careful. The dragon's power is disturbing this area. Okay, that's where we will part ways. I don't want to get this video too long. We'll uh, enter the temple next video. I don't know when I will do it. I need to get up and stretch for a second. Uh, that was pretty fun, though. We'll get into the exploration videos a little later, but I should have some uh, uploaded by the time you see this for you to watch in any case. So if you're in an, into the exploration more than a progression, then you'll be able to enjoy that. Uh, thank you for watching, and I will see you guys in the next video. Okay, well that concludes this episode. Be sure to leave a thumb up if you like the video. Be sure to subscribe if you want to see more videos like this or any of my other videos. Um, be sure to hit that notification icon so that you can be notified when any new videos are released. And leave me some comments, feedback, suggestions so that I can improve and do even better for you guys. Also, please stop by my uh, Teespring store. I've got more designs coming over from Spreadshirt, but this is what I have here right now. I've got three cool designs. I've got this mask does not equal safe. It's kind of an attitude for everybody trying to make us wear masks right now. I've got this Zen saying and drawing that I did, to reach your destination, embrace a journey. I think that's really cool. I've got a poem over here. Poem says, life doesn't have to be so hard. It has a flow. Sometimes you'll drift. Sometimes you'll row. But you get to choose a destination you'll go. I think that's really cool also. So uh, go ahead and grab some of this stuff. And that will support me and help me in my continuing work at YouTube. And I really appreciate it. Thank you for watching the video. And I will see you in the next one.